Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this design right here and talk a little bit about Halloween. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, please do stick around. So here I am on Canva's home page. I am going to be designing for a t-shirt today. So we're just going to go ahead and select a custom size. I am going to pick 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. Uh, the reason I do that is uh, if you design for Amazon Merch On Demand, that is the size for their t-shirts. And it also gives you the most flexibility for other products as well. I do like to optimize my designs for black. So I will go ahead and select black as my background color, simply because darker t-shirts tend to sell more than lighter t-shirts. So when I'm optimizing designs, uh, most of the time I optimize for the darker color shirts. Um, today we will be... Uh, making a Halloween design. Uh, it's never too early for Halloween and apparently there are a lot of Halloween designs already starting to go up and if you were to look on Creative Fabrica right now you would notice that the top POD designs right now uh, you know most of the graphics are Halloween graphics so we are already starting that season. So I'm going to show you a really quick simple one right now in what is becoming a very popular style. And so what this design is going to say, it's going to say Spooky Witch Social Club. And it is that social club that has become very popular. I'm starting to notice that a lot with all sorts of different niches, you know, whatever you want, social club. And um, I'm just, I'm noticing it all over the place. You could put pickleball social club, you could put teacher social club, you could put mom's social club. I mean, obviously you can be a little bit more creative than that, but I am noticing that social club niche a lot. So we're just going to go ahead and start with a Halloween design and we are going to do the spooky witch social club. And I'm going to take a little bit of a twist on one that I saw that used sort of a Halloween style like uh, bow. And so we're gonna go ahead and do something like that. But I'm gonna start with some uh, text. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit T on my keyboard that will pull up a text box. And I'm going to start by writing Spooky Witch, right? And we'll make that a little bit bigger. That's gonna come up top. I'm gonna make one more text box down here and this will say Social Club. And that will go down here. So this is a really simple design style and should be very fast to make. We're also going to go ahead and select an element. So we're going to go ahead and pick a Halloween bow. So I'm just going to go ahead and just search for that hollow Halloween bow. Let's see if we can get something. So here are the cool Halloween bows. If I go to graphics, there are a whole bunch of really fun ones that you can see, different style Halloween bows. So you can pick any of those. Um, the one that I liked the best was this one right here. I really liked it. It was big, it was bright, it had that orange color and the black. And so I think that will work really well. I'm going to go ahead and just center that in my page. And we're going to go ahead and pick some fonts. I want something that is going to kind of give the spooky witch feel, but I want it to be easy to read. I want it to be a little bit more on the narrow side, because if I keep it narrow, I can make it big enough that I can read it. If it's too wide, then it ends up being too short. Um, so the font that I ended up selecting was one that was available here on Canva, so you don't have to leave Canva at all for this design. And it was called, uh, her, here we go. Hertical, so there's a whole bunch. So what I wanted was the uh, serif rough right down here. And so that is the design that I came up with. It gave it a nice spooky witch feel. And I did want to do the same thing down here for my social club. Perfect. And so you can already see the way that that's looking. It looks pretty cool. Um, the other thing that I do notice in a lot of these designs is it kind of curves around the top. So I want to take this top font and we're just going to go to effects and we'll just add a little bit of a curve to it. Um, so I don't want it to be too much of a curve, but a little bit of some roundness on the top there. And so, so far that looks pretty cool. It's also nice if you can add just a little bit of a flare out to the side. And so um, I decided, well, what can we do? Let's go ahead 
and search for Halloween Circle and see what comes up. And all of a sudden, a whole bunch of really cool Halloween circles came up that I could use um, part of to create sort of just that arch around the side to give it the, the pretty traditional look. So there's some cool ones here. Here's some ones with skulls that I really liked. Um, and you can just sort of search and see what might work good for your design. Mm. So a few thoughts. I do like this one with the skull here because I can cut it in half and use, you know, the skull on each side and that's cool. Here's ones with a bunch of skulls. That looks kind of cool. Here's kind of one with some colors. Uh, here's one that sort of gives this sort of creepy um, sort of wreath look with some bats. And so there's ones with ghosts. Any of these are going to work really well some cool ones too so you can pick any of those that I think would look really cool as sort of just sort of a flare around the side and so for simplicity's sake let's go ahead and just use this one right here because it'll be just really easy to use but you can see the idea and then what you can do is do it on your own however you like so it would be something along the lines of that, except that I'm going to cut it in half. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit Control D. So I've got two. I'm going to take the top one and I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to take the bottom one, double click on that. And I'm just gliding this down and cutting it in half. So now I've got two halves, which means I can move each individually and resize each individually. And what that does is it gives me the ability here to kind of create my own sort of round edges here. So something like that I could do. And then I can take my bow tie in the middle, resize that however I like. So it just sort of looks like it goes in there, bring my spooky witch down, bring my social club up. And so you can see how this is a really fast and easy design to make. Obviously, I can do this in whatever colors I want. So if I want the font to, you know, be orange or I want the skeletons to be orange, here's where I can start playing with some of these. So let's go ahead and say I just want to pop some of that orange in here. And I can do the same thing here, too. If I want to make that that same orangey color, I can do that. And so that looks kind of cool. And then maybe some flares, maybe some bats or some, you know, just little diamondy things that it's going to kind of fill the space. So I can do that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just look for maybe... Um, let's go with diamonds, retro diamonds retro diamond let's see what comes up here so these are the kind of retro diamonds that I'm looking for sometimes I can find groupings of them that look cool or groupings where I can change the color particularly is very nice so sort of that sort of diamond flourish look so something like that if it let me change the color that one won't um, but that's more or less what I'm looking for so I just went ahead and just searched for Halloween and that was actually pretty easy because look at that some diamonds came up right away at the top when I just did a search for Halloween and there's some bats and everything too. So let's say I was to take these diamonds here. It's cool because it does let me change the color and it does give me a few other options so that's really nice. So let's say I want to go ahead and take uh, the gray. I want to get rid of the gray maybe and maybe make that the lighter orange color. So now I've got a darker orange color and the lighter orange color and the purple. And so I can take those, something like that. And so you can see how I could throw the grouping in there. That one's a little bit busy. There's some lighter ones here that I like. So here's a pretty simple one. Um, this one will also let me change the color here. So let's go with that lighter orange for that as well. This is a little bit of a simpler one. And I can kind of play with where I want to put it. I also liked this one here. This one is nice and simple. I like this one actually the best because I do want to shrink it down. But this one isn't going to let me. It's not letting me play with the colors. Oops. 
Bummer. So that's the one I like the best, but it's keeping that gray gray. What else do I got if I hit seal? Here's another one right here. That one looks pretty simple. Let's see. Cool. So that one's simple. I like that one. Okay. Yeah. I actually think I like this one the best because it's just kind of the simplest and smallest. I don't really like the square of that one. I can go ahead and then hit Control and D, duplicate this one. Something like that looks cool. I can kind of play with where I want to put it so that it's in a different spot um, on each side. Maybe bring that one there. Maybe even bring this down a little bit, something like that. And then I was thinking maybe some bats along the top. I could do the sparkles again, but maybe just to switch it up, maybe we add a few little bats. And so like here's one where there's some bats. If this lets me change the color, that would also be great. I could do the bats in any of those colors that I like. So maybe even that purple for the bats. Shrink those bats down and maybe put them right here. And so there's just a really simple design. I mean, it, it doesn't take much time. It's just sort of playing with the elements and putting them together. But it's never too soon to start some of that Halloween stuff. And you can make a ton of different versions of this. Obviously, you could very easily... Oops, kind of want to move the whole thing up. You could very easily play around with this, use different bows, different fonts, and different graphics. There was several different circles that I could use. And so really easy to just start playing and creating cool Halloween designs like this one. And so once you kind of get it the way you want it, you just go ahead, go over to the corner where it says share. We'll hit download. It is going to be a transparent background. It is a PNG. And so we just go ahead and hit download. And now this would be ready to go ahead and put up on a shirt or whatever product that you want to put it up on. So super fun, super easy. And I hope you guys can be very creative with this one. Um, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I do read those comments and I do uh, really appreciate um, all the positive feedback that I've gotten. So thank you for that. Um, do check out my channel. I have over 250 videos. So there's probably um, a good chance that if you're looking for something, I've already got it. Um, and yeah, I just hope you guys are doing really well with your sales. And I do hope to see you guys again. We'll have some more Halloween videos coming up here as well. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.